right, I'm gonna push my luck here and make my dragon's egg. And if you can see, it's got all these scales on both sides. So there's a lot of room for it to fall apart. So I'm probably gonna drive myself crazy, but I had to try it. And I have other molds that I bought that I haven't used yet from even years ago. Like I have, I have a plan that I'm gonna make next probably the, is a heart waffle mold. So it's got like all the indentations where waffles, like waffles do. So I've been kind of putting that one off because of that. But, so I've got my dry and my wet. You guys know by now what that is generally but if you're using a different recipe you know same thing though you put your measure your dry measure your wet and then add them together now if your wet includes water i would leave that out until after because that will activate your bomb or you can also i've had seen people put the citric in last after they mix in their oil and stuff. And I don't really, I don't know. I, I would think to me it would give, if they, I'd have a hard time finding the right texture. If I didn't have my citric in there as the dry. But it works for some people. So, oh, and I'm using Dragon's Blood. And I'm going to put some gold glitter. Hopefully that will show up really pretty on the scales. Uh, I might paint it. We'll see how it looks. But also, I'm going to make the bath bomb black. This is a lake color that was mixed. <clears throat> and I used it and made black bath bombs. And they're really cool. They colored the water like gray. Blackish gray. And... They don't stain your skin or your tub or anything like that. And they're great. So I figured this be, that'd be a good... I was thinking of purple. But since I just did the eggplant, I was just trying to do an eggplant. I just did purple. I'm kind of bored of purple. I thought I would do black for something different. And so this is a dragon's egg, and can you guess what genre or trope this is um, for? I think I posted it on Instagram already, but um, my thought was, as soon as I saw it, was for romanticy. Or even just fantasy. Um, because, you know, dragons are in, like, everything nowadays which I love. So this could even be, the, you know, go with your, if you're like a House of the Game of Thrones fan or House of Dragons fan. You have your very own dragon egg bath bomb. And this is a good size. I think there's a bigger one. I'm glad I got this size because I think there was a bigger one. I think one was like four inches or something. I think this is little three inches. It's getting there. A little bit more water, and then we'll add the color in. I, I don't know if this gets boring watching me mix this, probably. I could probably speed this up. And this scent is like, it's definitely like a unisex. This would be good for a man because it's like, it could be for a man or a woman. It's kind of got a spicy cologne scent to it I guess that's how I would describe it spicy but not like just gross like it's not like patchouli it's like I don't know what it will even say I'm sure on the website if I looked I can get the description of what the scent is um it all explains it on there so all right, so now it looks, seems ready. 
I'm gonna add the color. And okay, so these are were I bought from um, Creations by Fitz. I think she was on Facebook and she might have had an Etsy shop, but she pre-mixes lakes and makes custom colors. So I bought some of the colors from her. And I'll probably just mix my own from now on, but when I was first starting out, I wasn't great at mixing colors. You get better. So I don't know if that much is gonna color it black or gray or what. So let's just start mixing it. I don't know how much that is. That color. And I need some more black. So mix that in really well. I don't know. I wonder if I should leave them plain and then I'll paint them with silver instead of gold. All right, it's the mix still seems like the right consistency, so we're gonna try this one. So, you got your three pieces top, bottom. I don't think it matters in this case, they're both the same. Like, some of them have a short base, and some of them have the same size. So you put the bottom in and then I'll set the side piece. And again, we're gonna pack it loose. This would be good for embeds, which I may try after I can realize if once I realize, once I figure out if I can actually get this mold to work, I can put some embeds in to have more colors come out. Right, so don't fill it too much, but you want it to be like over full. <clears throat> and then this one, I would say you want to flip it over and press it on the other side too. And you want to press pretty hard because it's got the scales. I'm going to push on this end too. And it really doesn't matter which side is first, so. So let's see how it goes. A little cut the outside. Put this down. Pull it up, which came up pretty quick, pretty easily. And then here, we'll wipe off the excess. This is going to be like the middle of your egg. Just like on a round bath bomb, you have kind of like that band around the middle. So you don't want too much stuff. Anyway. And so now we're just going to tap it. And this sounds... It pretty well on there. I got one side off. I don't know how perfect it is. And I don't want to ruin it when I flip it over. So I'm going to set it down on my tray, which I just use a muffin tin with covered with plastic wrap. hear the sound when it starts coming loose. So 
that turned out pretty good. I think for the first one, not too bad. <coughs> Let's try it again. And I'll make the rest off camera, not to bore you. And then if I, once they're dry, if I decide to paint them or something, I'm sure I'll put some glitter mica or something, make them nice and shimmery. Um, I'll show you that too. You press both, like the whole thing, and then flip it over and do this side. Okay. And then you can cut the sides so you can get your plunger off. And you want to make sure you're keeping that like little sandwich together of the two top and bottom molds. And again, you want to just rub this middle part. And again, I can tell by the sound these are pretty stuck. came out pretty good. I'm going to gently put it on my little rounded tray here and then tap off my <coughs> other side. And you can kind of spin it while you're tapping. I'm kind of just spinning it around because like I said, I'm using Cake holder. Beautiful. And there's the second one. So I'm surprised that this mold is not harder. So I'm going to make the rest and I will show you. All right. So these are a little bit big, bigger. So it only made four with my batch. But they all came out perfect, pretty much on the first try, no problems, and I have to decorate them now. So if you have any good ideas, I wanted gold, but since they're like, like a stone, I feel like silver might work better or I don't know. Once I decide how to decorate them, I will film that and show you guys. But I think I've made three different bath bombs today, so I think that's enough. But I wanted to show you guys the water from what I have left. So you can see the, what, how, how the black bath bomb works. As you can tell, there's a lot of blue in it. Some of the bubbles you can see the water so it's pretty cool 